हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम अजिंक्य को फाउंडर ऑफ टैलेंट बैटल वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो फ्रॉम टैलेंट बैटल As TCS has launched the NQT test, I'm sure you must have started with your preparation. TCS NQT has launched its sample test. So if you go on this particular website and if you click to register, then you will get a link related to TCS Ion. And if you click on the sample test, you will be redirected to another link, okay, which has sample test. Here, just you need to click on sign in. Then you will get general instructions page. Then you just need to click on the next. then i have read and understood the instructions and then i am ready to begin and then test will start there are three sections right now in the sample test so they have not provided programming mcq and coding statement at least in this sample test but you will get idea basically about the type of questions which they may have so you can shift between the sections like numerical ability verbal ability and once you complete then you can submit this we will upload videos one by one for each section I have already added link to the official sample test of TCS in the description section. We are here to help you with the preparation for TCS NQT. Since only 20 plus days are remaining, so you must be nervous about how to exactly start with the preparation. But if you are looking for a one-stop platform for preparation, then I would definitely recommend going for any of our preparation package. Right now, we are running 20 percent of the discount, and the students who will register early will get TCS digital course for free. we have started with the live sessions this week in case if you miss any live session the recording of all the sessions will be provided to you so you don't need to worry along with the live sessions there are recorded session as well as entire aptitude course c cpp java data structure course and the test series is provided if you like the efforts which we are taking for the placement preparation do like this video and share it with your friends we will be uploading new videos for other sections as well in some time so do subscribe to our channel do join our whatsapp and telegram channel as well i have added the link in the description section now let's start with the video solution for the sample test the two figures on the left of the sign are related in a certain way the same relationship holds good for the second pair of figures on the right of the sign of which one figure is missing find out the missing figure from the alternatives now over here if you observe there there is a relation between these two figures so we have to find the same relation between these two figures that is we have to find out what figure comes over here that satisfies the relation over here if you observe there this one turns by 45 degrees in the clockwise direction okay and after that uh, over here it turns 45 degrees so this one also should turn 45 degrees right so after turning 45 degrees it will become a square okay and on the inside this one also turns 45 degrees and it will become this since it becomes a square these two options get eliminate uh, sorry these two options get eliminated okay now out of this and this over here inside there is a diamond so only this option is correct this one is wrong now there is another relation over here the outside circle comes inside over here and the inside square goes outside right if we try to keep that logic over here what what will happen first this inside outside diamond will come inside like this and this inside square will go outside on top of that this has moved by 45 degrees to the right hand side so this also moves 45 degrees so what do we get is a diamond and again a square inside so this option is not available anywhere okay diamond and a square inside diamond and square inside is over here but this is 90 degree turn this is not 45 degrees turn so this is not the answer okay over here if you observe it is just light this is the axis and this is just 45 degrees turn over here right so correct answer is this one second one a medical representative plans to visit six doctors a b c d e and f one doctor per day during a week from monday to saturday he visited d on the day just before the day he visited b so d has been visited just before b okay he visited c on monday so c is on monday that is the first day he did not visit f either on tuesday or saturday so after c f cannot come because c was on monday right so after c f cannot come because f did not visit on saturday also the last one cannot be f now so f can be between wednesday thursday and friday next he visited a on the day before the day he visited e so a must come just before e next he visited d on some day after he visited a so d must come after this pair ae so ae is over here so now what happens over here is which doctor did he visit on saturday what is going to happen five of them are already done the sixth one is f f cannot be here on tuesday okay f cannot be saturday right so now over here possible scenario is that a comes on tuesday 
E is on Wednesday, Thursday is F, Friday is D and Saturday is B. F cannot be at the end, so that means that D must be at the end because A, D, B comes only after A, because D comes after A only, right? So B must be at the Saturday. So B must come at the Saturday or uh, not B must come at Saturday. The medical representative must visit the doc, uh, Dr. B on Saturday. So answer is B. Now over here, F cannot be on Tuesday. Okay, F can be, that means F can be between this pair and this pair only. So C is Monday, A is Tuesday, E Wednesday, F is Thursday, D is Friday and B is Saturday. A statement is followed by two assumptions numbered 1 and 2. Consider the statement and decide which of the given assumptions are implicit in the statement. Statement. In spite of the several efforts by the environmentalists, some of the rarest species of the birds are on the brink of extinction. Assumptions. People in general do not care for birds and engage in actions that threaten the survival of certain bird species. Now, whatever information is given in the statement, we just have to consider that and based on that, we have to understand or try to see what is right. Now, extinction of the birds might be because of many reasons. It is not compulsorily that uh, because of people that and their actions that birds are getting extinct. So, we cannot guarantee uh, say or this is not implicit as such from the statement over there. Next is weather. So this is, does not is not implicit. Whether or not environmentalists care, every species would be extinct in course of time. Nowhere it has been mentioned in the statement or uh, nowhere uh, the statement means that even if the environmentalists don't do anything, still they are going to get uh, extinct or even if they do anything, still they are going to get extinct. So these two things are uh, not mentioned. Thus we can say that neither one nor two are implicit. Three shops A, B and C sold cars in January, February and March. The total number of cars sold in this three month period by A, B and C were 460, 320 and 500 respectively. Both A and C sold the same number of cars in January. The number of cars sold by A and C in March was also same. A sold 120 cars in February which was half of the number of cars sold by C in March. Both A and B sold exactly the same number of cars in February. The ratio of the number of cars sold by B in January and March was 1 is to 4. What was the ratio of the total number of cars sold in January, February and March by the three shops? Now, cars sold in January by A plus cars sold by A in February plus cars sold by A in March is equal to 460. Same way, cars sold by B in Jan, B in Feb and B in March is equal to 320. Then C in Jan, C in Feb and C in March that comes out to be 500. Okay. Now, over here what they have given, A sold 120 cars in February. So, this is 120 for sure. Also, it was half the number of cars sold by C in March. So, C in March, it has to be 240. Half of 240 is 120, correct? Both A and B exactly sold the same number of cars in February. So, B sold 120 cars in February, right? The ratio of the number of cars sold by B in January and March was 1 is to 4. Now, cars sold in Jan by B, car sold in March by B, ratio is 1 is to 4. What are the total number of cars sold by B in Jan and March? Car sold by B in Jan plus car sold by B in Feb plus car sold by B in uh, March is equal to 320. This we know is 120. So total car sold in Jan and March by B is 320 minus 120, that is 200. This 200 we have to divide in the ratio 1 is to 4. This is for Jan, this is for March. So in Jan, how many cars are sold by B? Let us see, 1 upon 1 plus 4 into 200. 200 divided by 5, that comes out to be 40 cars, okay? So in Jan, 40 cars are sold. Over here, 160 cars are sold, right? In March, 200 minus 40 is 160. Now what they have given is, both A and C sold the same number of cars in January. Number of cars sold by A and C in March was also same. So in C, C sold 240 in March, A also sold 240 in March. How much uh, did A sell in Jan? 460 minus 3, uh, 120 plus 240 is 360. 460 minus 360 is 100. And in C in Jan will also be 100. Okay, because of the first statement given over here. Sorry, the first condition. Both A and C sold the same number of cars in Jan. So, how many cars are sold by C in February? It is like 500 minus 340, that is 160. Okay, now we want the total number of cars sold in January. It will be 100 plus 40 by B plus 100 by C. In February, it would be what? 120 by A, 120 by B and 160 by C. And in March, it would be how much? 240 by A, 
160 by B, 240 by C. This comes out to be what? 240. This comes out to be uh, 240, 400. And this comes out to be 640. So ratio of total number of cars sold in Jan, Feb and March is what? 240 is to 400 is to 640. That comes out to be these get cancelled. Then we divided by 4. 4 6 are, 4 10 are, 4 16 are. Divided by 2. 3, 5, 8. So the required ratio is 3 is to 5 is to 8. The figure marked X is folded to box, uh, form a box. This is the figure X and it is folded okay, to form a box. Assuming that the paper used for the box is opaque and the signs shaded triangles have to be visible on the outer side of the box. Four possible box formations ABCD are given below. Some of which can be formed and some cannot be formed. Choose the alternatives the boxes that can be formed. Choose from the alternatives the boxes that can be formed. If you check out the alternatives, A occurs three times in three alternatives. So if we find out if A is a possible formation or not, we can directly get the answer. If A is not possible, directly B will be the answer. Okay. And if A is possible, then we can eliminate B. Okay. So let us start with A. If you observe carefully, now this dot which is there, okay, if we try to see from this side, okay, when it is folded, okay, when it is made vertical and folded, if we see from this side, on this top, on the top surface is a uh, triangle, blank triangle. On the right hand side of this dot, this is the left hand side normally for us. But if when we look from this position, from this side, this will be the right hand side for the dot, okay. So right hand side, there is a square and on top of square, there is a dark circle. On the left hand side of the dot is a blank circle, okay. Left hand side of the dot, okay, is a blank square and a uh, filled up triangle. So if we take a look at A, now let us assume this is the dot. The top surface is this, okay, which is a blank circle. So this condition gets satisfied. On the right hand side there, on the left hand side there is a blank space. But over here on the right hand side of the dot, because we are now looking from this position. On the right hand side there is a blank space. It has to be on the left hand side of the dot. Because when you try, if you rotate it like this, okay, this entire diagram, what you are going to get is like this. Take a look. Dot comes over here, cross comes over here, okay. And this is the painted side. This is the painted side. Here is the blank side and here is the square, okay. And this is the blank side. So if this is made vertical, okay, th this at this edge, if you fold this part, and this part is folded at this edge. Okay. What is going to happen? This will come, this square is going to come on the right hand side of this dot. Okay. And we'll get this diagram. But on the right hand side, there is blank space. So that means A cannot follow. Right. So answer is option B. Only C and D follow. If you try it out, you'll get the answer. Right. If you check out from this side, on the right hand side, there is a square. Right. On the top, there is a blank circle filled circle opposite to each other on the other side of this must be a blank side and over here there must be blank and opposite to this must be an x opposite to the dot also dot is over here on the left hand side there is a blank space as shown over here right and this part which is there top part which is a blank triangle it goes from this side right this surface we are seeing over here it is from this side for this surface this diagram is seen from over here and this diagram we are trying to see from over here that is the same thing. So C and D follow, right? A does not follow, B also does not follow. Answer is option B.